Hey there, it's Janice, and I'm here in the middle of a cotton field, and I was going to show you how they uh, make crosses on a cotton plant. So, starting out, I hope I'm in the camera. You start out with these things here. You leave them on the plant, of course, but I don't have like a crew out here, so I'm taking it off, and I'm just going to show you. So this is what you call a candlestick, and you pull back the green parts of the plant, and you use this highly technical tool called a thumb and you dig the thumb down in there and what you're trying to do is you're trying to take the male parts of the flower off so that you're emasculating it it's as easy as using your thumb I used to think emasculation had to be really hard or had to be mean-spirited but no what happens then you see how that flower the, the petals are coming off this would open up tomorrow afternoon, and we want to get to it before then. So usually in the morning, breeders will come through, and they'll clear all those little, you see those little tiny th circular things? Those are going to be the pollen. Tomorrow they would dehist in the, mor um, in the afternoon. The flower would open up starting sometime in the morning, and then the pollen would dehist. And then it'll go down into that little part right there and, um, and self-pollinate. Well, instead, if a breeder is making a cross, he's going to want to come out tomorrow afternoon, do this in the morning, then come out in the afternoon and get the flower, like this one, from one of the plants that he wants to cross with this one. And you just dust the pollen from this one onto the other one. And just like that, it's pollinated. And you can tell this one has self-pollinated already because if you look really closely on that bloom, you can see it beginning to turn pink. Um, now I'm gonna get one of these. I'm just gonna get a whole bunch of them. Then this is what the bloom looks like um, normally after it's self-pollinated. Like the next afternoon, it turns this deep red. So there you go. There's my lesson in cotton flowers and cotton breeding.